College of Calapan President, Father Christine A. Cordero, SED, to the Vice President for Administration, Father Isagani S. Lolo, SED, to the Vice President for Finance, Father Timoteus Lampur, SED, to the School Chaplain and Director of the Community Extension Services, Father Renato L. Mabot, SED, to the Associate Chaplain, Father Salvador S. Conrado, SED, and to the other present SED administrators. To the Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Eleni C. Dugan, CPA. To the members of the Academic Council. To the faculty members. To our beloved parents and guardians, fellow honorees, colleagues, and co-graduates of batch 2019-2020, and to all the viewers, a great day to everyone. 16 months ago, I was one of the many graduating students who was ecstatic and excited to ramp on the stage and to reach for our diploma as the symbol of the fruit of our hard work, such as reviewing for the comprehensive examination, sleepless nights of thesis right, and all our perseverance to achieve another milestone in our lives. But the year 2020 turned out 
to be a year no one was expecting it to be. Our celebration was hampered by a microscopic entity, invisible to the naked eye. Not only our graduation ceremony was put on hold, but almost all other transactions in the world. Unemployment has worsened with 4.2 million Filipinos reported jobless in February due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Philippine Statistics Authority reported last March 2021. The education sector has suffered as many students were forced to stop their schooling due to financial constraints, lack of gadgets, and intermittent internet connections. But all these events have opened our eyes and have made us realize and feel that there were things we were taking for granted. And that is time. As a teacher who needs to sacrifice personal time, sleeping hours, social life, family bonding, or even romantic relationship, the first quarter of the lockdown provided all the time to at least reconnect with these things. We came to wonder how important a tight hug is, how vital face-to-face -face classes are, that we should have valued our teachers more before, and how crucial the lockdown was for the environment to replenish and heal. Despite all the adversities, we bounced back and we stood strong. You are a survivor. You champion the romanticized Philippine trait of resiliency. So I want you all to remember that if hardships and struggles are pulling you down, that doesn't mean that your dreams are canceled. They are just put on hold. In Jeremiah 29 11, God said, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. God's timing will always be perfect. Today marks the 74th commencement rites of our alma mater DWCC. Another batch of witnesses to the word has been sent off its portal to start to contribute to the labor force and nation building. All thanks to the DWCC SME administrators and faculty members for instilling in us its core values. To our parents and guardians who have been on our side amidst these challenging and enduring times, hats off to all of you. My co-graduates, as we move forward to the next chapters of our lives, remember, it will require a new version of ourselves. Welcome to the virtual graduation ceremony of the 74th Commencement Rites of the Batch 2019-2020. May God bless us all and Mabu. It is my pleasure to award the medals to the following all of the weeks. Because Mal Lester Anthony G. Bachelor of Science in Accountancy, Cum Laude. Sepilio Bernard Boy A. Master of Arts in Education, major in Filipino with academic excellence. Mendoza John Michael S. Master of Arts in Education, major in Mathematics with academic excellence. Congratulations. To our college president, Father Crispin A. Cordero, SVB, and to the other present SVB administrators, members of the Academic Council headed by Dr. Aleni C. Dugan, CPE, faculty members, employees, our dear parents, friends, and to the class of 2020, a blessed day to us all. It is an honor and privilege to deliver the valedictory address 
on behalf of the graduating class of 2020. Today, we celebrate the culmination of all our efforts. After all the years of education, we have finally made it. It is not an easy journey, but we are all here to celebrate our graduation. And for that, congratulations to all of us. It was not long ago when our journey began. For most of us, we entered the institution with nothing more than a dream. And today, together, we stand as survivors, armed with knowledge, skills, and values to bring this dream close to reality. To others, graduation may simply be equated as the end of the tunnel, a breath of relief, or an exaltation over freedom. But after years under the nurture of our alma mater, we know it is much more than a dream. Life is an open road. Although we have studied its highways and byways, we have not been left without a roadmap. Our mentors, parents, colleagues have constantly been our guide. All paths, all encounters have led to an ultimate direction, a bend on the road. Looking back at my quest towards this momentous event, at the young age of three, I have already started pursuing my dreams by formally going to school. I have realized that the quality education at an early age is a crucial step in developing our personalities towards a better future. Our families did most of the work in shaping us, but it is our own actions who have given us a definite form and substance into the person that we are today. Our environment may have helped in picking out our future career, but we have held firmly into achieving what we have today. Our dream seems hard to be accomplished when we first started to try our luck. We did not know the must, must not, and what not of life. We were afraid of the consequences of our actions. We were scared that the fight we chose to stand up might bring us regret. The future is uncertain, but we continued to march forward from semester to semester, and we took the risk of uncertainty. Somehow, we have learned to adjust on our own and to maximize our returns from these unavoidable risks. We have become better versions of ourselves every year, and with every growth, we have succeeded. The moment I have enrolled in the accountancy program, I have already prepared myself on the possibility of not to be qualified. I have conditioned my mind so that I would not be affected by the challenges that the course may give. I bought accounting lecture and reviewer books because I am more comfortable studying with my own resources since I have the freedom to write my annotations. Thanks to my scholarship that has made this possible. Everyone who knows me, especially my closest friends, have noticed that I have different style and attitude in surpassing every quizzes and major examinations. I used to tell myself that qualifying is good, but earning a perfect hundred is the best. So I settled with it and in turn paid the price of studying more. I have never seen myself as better than anyone just because I have higher grade results. I have experienced how hard it was to either pass or qualify. I have been a witness to all the tears that were shed due to frustrations, disappointments, and most of all, due to the hurt everyone probably felt for the inability to be qualified. Add to that the overthinking skills that we have all mastered is a result of our shadowing and ending when we have only just begun the semester. During college, I took every examination regardless of the percentage they would hold in my grades, with equal effort and knowledge. I told myself to always do my best, so whatever happens, I know I have done my part. A night before our major examination, I slept early because even in my dreams, the concepts and numbers followed me. When the results came out, 
I often just encourage myself to do better instead of celebrating what I got. Even if I was happy with my grades, I always try to extend my goals to make the best version of myself. I analyzed every mistake and I stopped only when I have realized what went wrong. I would converse with myself and ask, were you just careless? Was it really that hard? Or did I not really understand the concept? My friends would often tell me that I should just be happy with what I got, or be contented because I qualified when most of the class failed. But what people do not understand is that I only compete with my past self. I would always put out effort so that I would not have to commit the same mistake. I even dream of attaining 100% in my quizzes and major examinations, so I would see a huge room for improvement. There is nothing wrong with wanting the best, as long as we are willing to do more than the standard. What I want to share is to allow ourselves to explore beyond the norm, aim higher and achieve different possibilities. Let the sky our limit. We would only be depriving ourselves of what we deserve if we hinder ourselves from exploring what is outside our comfort zone. Never compare yourself to others, but compare yourself to who you were yesterday. And we should practice to take care less with what others think, but to keep in mind that we drive our own future. During college, I have served as an accounting idol for four consecutive years. I took it more as an opportunity rather than a recognition because I wanted to share my knowledge with my fellow students. I know the struggles of not being able to understand what has been taught by our professors and by our books. So, in our tutorial sessions, I saw to it that I had devised easier ways to digest the topic. Not only did I teach, but also I tried to inspire. I was happy knowing that I have lent my hands to those who needed help and that I was able to review what I have taught. From these experiences, I have seen that while it is good to achieve their dreams, it is better if we succeed together with anyone. We may have different, undergone different challenges and we have reacted differently to situations, but our goals are still the same. The contentment of helping, of being compassionate, and of being generous brings a different satisfaction to my heart. In my five years of studying, not only did I learn accounting, but also I have established camaraderie with people. We may not see each other eye to eye at all times, but it was better to know that we have each other's back. In having our separate paths, I know we may forget our course-based concepts and lessons, but I am sure whatever happened in the past, what is happening today, and what will happen someday, the mutual trust, respect, love and care that we have all built will remain unbreakable. And as we continue with our own journey towards success, may we not forget that once in our lives, we were able to surpass challenges together with face held high and hands joined. We cannot talk about the future without mentioning God and faith. While we were still studying, I was once encouraged by some of my friends to attend the morning mass in our school's chapel before going to our first class. My heart would be always at ease when I start my day with God. Thanks to my friends who have brought me closer to God, I grew up in a family who believes in the divine intervention, but forming bonds with people outside the home who nurture faith and religion has made me travel extra miles with God. I can still remember how we had our simple sharing sessions and Bible study despite our full academic load. I can remember how eager we were to strengthen our bond with our Creator, which in turn solidify the relationships we have built. Being in a Catholic institution has allowed us to embrace the divine teachings, which I think is the most important of all the learnings we could get. But they will be put to waste if we will not apply them to ourselves, to our family, and to the community.
Throughout my life, I always seem to hear that I would always be with God, my friends, and family. They have greatly helped me to be developed into the person that I am today, to have met people who support me in all things that I do. God really set up a plan to lead us into the lives of the people around us. Personally, I would like to thank all of you, especially my closest comrades, who have been both a blessing and a challenge. My chosen career has led me to people like you. You have led me closer to God and to my family. It really pays to pray because I have prayed for people like you in my life. I have prayed and I have sought out God's help that I would be blessed with wonderful years and months and there came all of me. I would often hear people asking how I have managed to stay hardworking and enthusiastic in studying despite multiple frustrations. I often heard my friends saying that reading books and solving problems are my habits. I admit it. I slept late at times and I used some of my vacant hours with my calculator and worship. But I am only human and my efforts would not be enough without God. You would say that I am persistent, but I would say that I pray. You would say that I am gifted with knowledge, but I would say that I pray. You would say my not efforts are outstanding, but I would say God is the best. Everything I have achieved, God drew me into it. Probably, God tells me that I am in the right path, and I am in the direction which is really meant for me. Now that I have the chance, I want to tell all of you to never lose our faith. We must have hope and the will to fight. Just a year ago, I noticed how many of us lost ourselves. When the pandemic came, we got scared. The possibility that we may not be able to go to our wanted destinations. I am not the one to speak about not giving up. Because at some point, I also did pull down my flag. But I can remind you that we have each other, our families, and most of all, God. At our lowest, he stood higher and pushed us to dream bigger because challenges are just barricades to our future. To us board takers and to those who will take certification examination, despite the uncertainty of our current situation and the continuous postponement of licensure examination, let us not divert our focus from our goal. Let us continue to strive harder to achieve our goal and that is to pass our respective examination. It would really be great that once we all become successful in our respective fields, one day we would be able to sit down and to look upon to where we all started. To all SBD administrators, you have brightened our spirits with love. Thank you for allowing us to grow in your home and to be developed into principled individuals. You have been great tools of God, and we shall forever treasure our enriching stay here in this institution. To our dearest professors, you have done more than words can express. We understand we are far from perfect as students. We might have what you pain, frustrations, and even rage. To the School of Accountancy, headed by our dean, Ms. Mary Jane Bautista, CPA, MBA, who has served as the Chief Controller for our strong foundation. We would not be here if not for your support and patience. Today, we show you our sincerest gratitude for molding our characters and for showing us that there is still so much to learn. Your firm guidance will always be appreciated. For now, we have realized that life greatness Nothing grows well under the shade of a large tree. To the office staff and the maintenance personnel, thank you for the years of patience and support while we were struggling. Your silent presence and love will always make you a part of our memories. To our beloved parents and families, the true foundation of who and what we have been. To my sister, Ate Hannah, who is also graduating today with her master's degree. 
You deserve to share every honor we receive today. You have continuously strengthened and inspired us, without which we would have never come to reach this moment. You have all given much to see this day, and we hope that in some ways we have made you proud. This is just our beginning, so hold your belts and ride with us as we take you to more achievements. To our friends and colleagues, especially to Jenny Lynn, Berlin, Earl J, Irene, Augustine, April, Ingrid, Emily, Angela, and to the 24 members of Sublime Batch COVID-19 who have grown in us and with us, you have colored this journey with laughter, pain, joy, and conflicts. Time has come and has gone swiftly. When one glances back at the past that belongs to you, it is a blessing that we have shared a few of the most memorable years of life together. These ties, these ties shall remain strong wherever life may lead us. We still have a lot to learn and a lot to dream of and pray for. We still have our own paths to take, but remember always that the years we have shared with will hold so much space in our hearts. You have touched our lives in the most beautiful way. And to our Almighty Father, the beginning and end of all things, we stand here today because you have called us to enter and to guide us throughout the way. Thank you for the blessings and opportunities. All the glory is offered back in your name. Our watch is capable of working towards a better world, a better society to live in. An environment where basic human rights are safeguarded and are governed by the rule of law is what we all deserve. This pandemic can be likened to an examination where no one has any idea of what will and might happen. So no one is prepared at all. A lot of things happen and in just a snap, a new normal has begun. We have witnessed the real dilemma of our society and it is very evident that social injustices are still prevalent. These events have brought out our true colors and ignited our violent spirit once again. I know we are all frustrated with the way things are. It is normal feeling whenever there is a difference between what we want and what we get. From these trying times, we take our cue to reflect on what we can do not just for our survival, but also for our nation. Our remarks for this real-life test will depend on how we put all together the pieces of knowledge that we have learned, the skills we have developed, and the core values of integrity, social responsibility, excellence, and evangelization that have been instilled in us in responding to this challenge. In the end, the question looks very simple. Did we pass or did we fail? Has our survival brought us a future that we can all be proud of? My fellow graduates, with faith in God and in our abilities, a compassionate heart for others, and never-ending hope until where we are meant to be, we can turn different possibilities into probabilities and eventually into a reality. Each and every one of us is a puzzle piece that will contribute to a better nation and a better world. Our collective efforts will pave the way for the best future that we all deserve. Remember to always look back from the came from. Let us keep our feet grounded. We need to hold on to our dreams and as we continue to pursue our dreams, May we find in our hearts the genuine happiness and purpose that we have spent years to look for. We have ended one journey, but it does not mean that we stop here. We are still in the race of life, and though we will have separate roads from here on, I know that all of us are still meant for greater things. I know 
that all of us are still meant for greater things. Again, congratulations and may God continue to bless us all. It is my honor to award the loyalty medals to the following graduates. Kumiya Gilbert John P. Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Gayoso Billy Ray B. Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Malapitan Leopoldo Billy A. Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. Mazo John Wilson P. Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. Perez Daniela Luis C. Bachelor of Science in Accountancy. Castillo Mary Jane S. Doctor of Philosophy in English Language. Castillo Hazel B. Doctor of Philosophy in Management. Congratulations! To begin, I would like to thank the Byward College of Calapan not just for the opportunity to speak today on behalf of the graduating students, but also for five full years of teaching me not only things from the book, but concepts and ethics that I can truly use in my future endeavors. Picture this, your first week being a college student, still not in our uniforms, some are shy, and some are already making a lot of friends. You were never late because you did not want to have that impression of being lazy. You wrote everything in your notebook, thinking all of it will be on the exam. You were so nervous that you might be called by the professor, so you studied as much as you could. Still have those bright eyes, full of hope, full of energy. Our college life was not all fun and play. Even though it was difficult, what matters is you are here now, at a point where it is an end, but more importantly, a start of a new expedition. That was quite a voyage. So what now? What's next with our lives? If you have the privilege right now to take a rest, take it and be grateful for it. Don't be stressed about the fact that you are in a different position compared to your friends and classmates. You are on your own distinct path, and no paths are the same. Sometimes you might feel that you are being deprived of even the simple things in life and think that life is unfair. I am honestly not certain if the world is fair or not, but I know that although that deprivation has put you in a difficult situation. It also provided you with skills that you will be thankful for someday. Those skills you have developed to adapt are priceless. This is what's going to be your advantage as you go along your journey. It is your distinction from everybody else. I never got this idea out of my mind since I have experienced it. I am a witness that God really does provide, and He does it at the right time. There will always be problems. That is the natural order of life, and that is why you are being put through hardships. It is to shape you so that you can handle life. Because accept it, it will not be. Embrace your failures. It's not considered a failure if you're getting life lessons from that's what the purpose of college is, in my opinion. It's to know yourself. How do you work under pressure? How do you handle conflicts? Are you capable of leading? In which type of environment do you perform well? These are the things that I think we should pick up from here and carry on our hearts and use as a skill to survive and adapt to whatever comes our way. With that being 
being said, it is worthy to petition that these candidates for graduation be conferred to their respective well-deserved and hard-earned degrees. And please remember that your only real job in this life is yourself. Thank you. Father President, as Vice President for Academic Affairs for his school year 2019-2020, I have the honor to present to you four candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, five candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, 14 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Criminology, 17 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Architecture, 71 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, 5 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, Four candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering. Thirty-four candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Accountancy. Fifty-eight candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Accounting Technology. Two candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, 65 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, 7 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Information System, 8 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Elementary Education, 24 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Secondary Education. 3 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Office Administration. 37 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. 9 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management and 17 candidates for graduation from the Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. They have satisfactorily completed the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the Commission on Higher Education for school year 2019-2020. With all the rights, honor, and privileges there and to pertain, Father President, the candidates. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Commission on Higher Education and by the Board of Trustees of the Bible College of Telapan, as President, I hereby confer your respective degree with all the rights, privileges, and obligations there are to pertaining. Congratulations. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates who have successfully completed the requirements for the degree. Doctor of Philosophy in English Language, Castillo Mary Jane Tess. Diplomas will now be awarded following graduates who have successfully completed the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Educational Management. Courses for the A. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates who have successfully completed the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Management. Bernardo Maribel L. Castillo Basel D. Diplomas will be awarded to the following graduates 
who have successfully completed the requirements for the degree, Master of Arts in Education. Sarmiento Mighty Pie. Roman Genesis T. Perez Maria Elaine S. Tolentino Madel Y. Abatayo J. A. Puerto Navinia J. El Nido Raquel L. Montemayor Iris Joy M. Madrigal Elizardo D. Ponce Noreen May P. Ridublo Von Nicole S. Abaca Joseph. Sipilio Bernard Joy A. With academic excellence. Bilangel Roxanne B. Disquess Maria Charlene G. Hernandez J. K. B. De Leon Brian Thiel C. Abonilio Claudine O. Arago Yvonne E. Mendoza John Michael S. With academic excellence. Quinto Edwin E. Guevara Gladi Chiqui D. Rubica Mayla M. Enteroy Roda D. Alaluhan J. Wendell A. Carpio Arnie Marian M. De Guzman Hanabelis G. De La Vega Giselle C. Magkamit Mark Anthony L. Magnay Roxanne B. Virgen Nueva Junjun A. Magdael Maria Clarissa S. Asigeda Tuxanto A. Harabe Danica A. Lina April Vanessa Q. Magkamit Myra H. Diplomas will be awarded to the following graduates who have successfully completed the requirements for the degree Master in Business Administration. Gonzalez Princess A. Balgoma Maris A. Balgoma Marvin M. Alsati Chris and Grace G. Lakdao Sendel and F. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates who have successfully completed the requirements for the degree Master in Public Administration. Lorke Jovan G. Manibo Chris Earl Marie R. Marasigan Mira C. Rilior para Sherry B. Andres Rosana C. Reto Junior Ponciano E. De Los Santos John B. N. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates of Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. 
Peraden, Paulo, Rafael, I. Manapitan, Leopoldo, Willy, I. Motel, Charles, Jobet, A. And Silang, Judith, C. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates of Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Colonel Maria Estefan O. Davido P. Jean Christia E. Fernandez Armin D. Goodwin Danica C. And Pintinho Colin S. Thomas will now be awarded to the following graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Technology. Adeva Pamir. Piensa RBC. Patukar Demetrio Jr. E. Rauni Daira E. Eliso Tyron E. Gabriel First Mary Choice. Grimari Maria Jeda G. Labanan of Nair E. Malupay Dan Chris E. Miranda Rame E. Dote Bar Nines G. Nikia Jan Bryan E. Rosho Maristela Ray E. E. Ligarba Ero registered terminologist. The following are the graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Architecture. Ante Chan Paulo R. Achenza Noel Leo C. Maldonado Sergi Andrian C. Veron Christopher D. Bueno Antonet R. Kabatin Joy Frederick A. Kuramin Michelle D. Garcia Jeremy M. Hernandez Jerry L. Yudisma Kathleen D. Dupig John Darin M. Malamis Lawrence Neil L. Maravilla Junior Cyrus R. Mariano Ashley S. Peraja Gian Franco M. Torregosa Mark Brillo P. Torres Tim David. The following are the graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. Abao Marshall M. Agua Ivory Rosel M. Alba Bobby Allen E. Abarillo Dina A. Alcuran Ra Jordan B. 
Nico, Gabriel, Si. Ballesteros, Ian, Kaiser, Si. Banta, Charmaine, Joy, R. Barranco, Jan, Mark, G. And the strong Jody, B. Bolsoto, Kaila, Fisha, May, C. Amen, Big J, R. Alderon, Alexis, C. Karimal, K, Anta, K. Karimal, K, O, S. Carpio, Rombi, M. Cristobal, Nico. Lisay Kaisan Choi H. De Guzman Marvin B. De Mesa Apple K R. De Rosario J Lloyd B. De Makulangan Princess Diane C. De Mamba. Ana Marisa Enriquez Raskin Islam M Evangelista Daphne P. S Evangelista Mark Anton R Ponte Donnell M Anmo Daniel B. Neta Cristel C. Guida Cristel B. Herrera Elmer N. Ilagan Harley May B. Inayan Jonathan R. Lucentio Istrat A. Asinto May Joy R. Justiniano Joshua S. La Duerta Jan Owen E. Your brother Patricia May B. And Coco Michelle A. Lunario Mark and Gail B. Makarai, Danica, F. Magadja, Nico, F. Magluyan, Kim, Paolo, G. Manalo, Risha, Erika, D. Mandia, Kathleen, R. Manyebo, Joker, R. Manyehe, Jiba, B. Marasigan, Ren, B. Marasigan, Henry, B. Matala, Shania, Janil, Maso, John, Wilson, B. Marcene, Mara, Gray, B. Montoya, Stefan, Jane, L. Moscosa, Justine, DJ, C. Ortiz, Juan Marie M. Pantoja, Mark Timothy C. 
papasin, tuwela mali, di. Letras, Gerard, di. Rabano, Denise, A. Ramirez, Albert, L. Ramirez, Derli, Grace, C. Vamos, Ulysses, A. Rayos, Renalin, S. Rico, Adrián, D. Rodríguez, Romel, M. Bobis, Radford, D. Soriano, Tremar, S. Pepino, Princess, A, I. Villaluna, Mark, Joven, M. Villarico, Christian, Sir, the following are the projects who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering. Como Jeremiah Miles, Public School Chan Mahardo Julian May C. Lopez Maricris D. Guinho Edgar M. The following are the graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Electronics and Bahia Elisha Mare. De Guzman, Mary Jane, D. De La Paz, Robert, Rafael, G. Pablo, Francis, Angelo, P. Garcia, Maria, Cristina, D. Machimura, John, Marvin, P. Mohe Janin A. A. Nitoral Queen C. J. M. Sarko Jin M. Tagupa Jan Ferdinand S. Thomas will now be awarded to the following graduates have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Accountant. Agua Galis M. Alterado Luna Marie D. Andrin Maria Perlin Año Nuevo, Kennedy D. Barcelona, Cristel Dayan M. Bautista, Merte A. Bautista, Charlene, Risha D. Besa Kimberly M. Burgos Marian Antoinette D. Galica Irene A. Katibo Agustin G. Odarias, 
Sarah, Jessica, Ed. Walokar, Chilean, P. Gustodio, Princess May, D. Di Guzman, Lester Anthony, G. Home Love. Di Mailig, Frances Marian, Inya, M. Dionisio, Diane, D. R. Medakan, Paul Christian, L. Darin, Ingrid, S. Makalalad, Emily, C. Magbanwa, Lubim Nasel, R. Malabanan, Abigail, E. Malapitan, Daryl Ingrid, I. Matibag, Ray Alvin, N. Miranda, Joeylyn, M. Mistal, Yanwei, M. Perez, Daniela, Luis, C. Rabano, Angelica, B. Rayos, Isel, B. Redublo, J.C. Jones, S. Reyes, Ginel, D. Sangala, Carl Angelo, M. Villanueva, Angela Rose, M. El Yambao, Jan Daniel D. Diplomas will now be awarded to the following graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Accounting and Law. Adra Irene. Agutaya, Jessica Joy, E. Andino, Jamaica, E. Antenor, Jacel, E. Aquino, Andrea, E. Asi, Cassandra Winnie M. Adelares Charm Lani Card D. Baras Janami M. Bayona Janmarco. Venancio, Leslie Joy, Nelly. Kamansag, Dayan, Elizabeth, D. Kasimina, Mary Lou, Nelly. Castro, Daniel, 
Angela Hill. Ovarubias Aro C. Dating ginoong Josephine Ney K. Iberia Pini Kathleen Hill. Sena Christine Hell Delita Arlene Joy E Encarnacion Crystal Joy E Evangelista David Ebora Maria Erika M. Babilar Dosenti S. Ferrer Sarina N. R. Francisco Benz and Garbo, Crystal K. D. German, Raisa B. Dera, Jetro F. Luño, Dara Joyce. Hernandez, Mayla, E. Asinto, Raveraj, C. Yagas, Divert, Erika May, J. Maa, Judilin, R. Madali, Kairon Salam, B. Maganda, Patrick James, B. Magpantay, Katrina, L. Manalo, Marian, R. Manalo, Princess Angela G. Bangkua, Mark James C. Marasigan, Madel P. Marasigan, Stella Jean M. Mexico, Raymond Monoski M. Mercado, Sheila May M. Ayano, Mark Steve. Nicholas Ivy Ann. Oligario Patrick Farius Yes Pasha Arnelin Pagsinuhi Maria Joy A Roldan Mariani Cor Saludo, Maria Karina M.
Sarmiento, Pixie May, Nem. Sibilia, Mini Carols, E. Sigi Sabal, Esmadel, Joyce, M. Soriano, Kimberly, Tiburan, Rainali, A. Chu, Restel, Joy, M. Valenzuela, Christine, C. Valenzuela, Christine, Paula, And Yang, Michelle, Christian, M. Diplomas will now be awarded to the graduate graduates who have successfully completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Agua Dari Joy, M. Italia, John Person, S. Diplomas will now be awarded to the graduate graduates who have successfully completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Information System. Buhay Kit Patrick A. Dasilio Gillian Rose S. Nicastro Jose Angelo A. Marasikan Ranch M. Ocampo Dennis B. Zalazar Larissa B. B. And C. Maria B. Diplomas will now be awarded to the graduate graduates who have successfully completed all the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Abante John Florence G. Aves Jessica Rosemary B. B. 
lanzadeiras lixo-me L. Licor a lixo-me S. Lubang Kerry Raider M. Makawili Jomar R. Manimo Kenneth B. Marasigan John Christopher G. Marzo Mark Johnson R. Medina John Lawrence A. Mendoza J.B. A. Mercado McKenny B. Mitra Ana Lorraine S. Mitra Marie Andrea S. Olokinia Jasil Jara O. Orava Lesser J. R. Perez Nico Julius M. Piansales Sam Benedict M. Samson Mark Francis R. Simblante Maria Isabel M. Sol Maria Bernadette S. Tadeu Mark Andrew R. Tamayosa Romel B. Tuberon Ken Rayfield B. And Ilagan Ifet Norwin Ken. The following are the graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Elementary Education. Andasan, Elise May M. Fernandez, Chiramaika S. Radyasa, Rashus J. Lintawagi, Anshel H. Apatay, Roxette S. Pasongso, Melody B. Moreno, Romel F. And Martilia, Laika, Johnny. Following our graduates, we have some statutory completed requirements to be Bachelor of Secondary Education. Amelia and Miss Smith is Abel Anthony G. Abelon Mary Ann G. Axalan. Liza Chilean Makai Artis Kerr Makai Marie Manaan Jessel Karel Yeah. 
Fabinho, Denison, Lyle y Nico, Adolf, Nance, Sadifon, Merlin, Ann, Liliesa, JRM, and Yorkas, Dune, C. The family that the graduates who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the degree Bachelor in Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. Asibeda Marty B. Alulod Ramon Gabriel Y. Castillo Wendy Ann G. Tayaloha Josel M. Evera Emily. R. Tesalvo Patricia West C. Invento Marlon Altea. Magda Jose Ramon B. Manas Charmaine Christel O. Anusong My F. Alexi Nicole A. Mindanao Kelly Camille B. Mirabete Harold B. Mineta Rio and Sir C. Priela Janelle F. Valenzuela Mark Inor C. And Ramos. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Bernard Boy A. Cipino, being a graduate of the Divine Word College of Calapan, who hereby solemnly promise before all present the following to live up to the principles and ideals of my alma mater. The Divine Word College of Calaman. Uphold and defend the human rights and dignity of all persons. Work for betterment of the people. And proclaim and witness through my life the Kingdom of God and do all for his greater honor and glory. So help me. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, please state your name, do solemnly swear. I will maintain faith with the end for which the Divine Word College of Calapan Alumni Association is constituted. I will, as member thereof, abide by the sound and reasonable consensus of the majority. To the end, that the association may maintain goodwill and dignity. I will conduct myself in public as loyal worthy of a DWCC representative of Christian education. I will do no false not consent to the duty of any in my profession. And in all dealings, I will the best of my ability be 
guide it when you're off. Repeated principle of the professional hands. To the end, and this may be realized, I impose myself this voluntary obligation without mental reservation or purpose of education. So help